If any of you visited the laundromat a couple of months ago and used the uh, middle 30-pound uh, Wasco mat machine, you might have noticed it was making a really not loud humming noise in the spin cycle. That's because the uh, bearings inside this motor were shot. Um, I already took the motor mostly apart, but I'm just, just going to partially disassemble it here and show you guys what's uh, wrong with it. Let me just take the covers off and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, I took the covers off and you can see you got a large uh, armature. Uh, with the uh, all the copper in here this is a six and a half horsepower motor so it's fairly powerful you look at this bearing it hardly wants to move at all that's the one on the front in order to get the cover off i had to remove this uh, pulley it broke all my uh, pullers so that's why i got this uh, big hydraulic one we'll be using here in a moment to pull the bearing off but yeah see this bearing is doesn't want to move at all so when it make a humming noise and this one it has another bearing in the back this one's not great, but it still spins a little bit better than the one in the front, which is completely shot. Um, this assembly is kind of heavy. I'm going to see if I can pull it out one handed. If not, I'll put the camera down to show you. Let's just. And now it comes like that. So, this is what spins at high speed when we're doing the spin cycle. It's in pretty good shape. I did clean up a little bit the, fir the first time I pulled it apart, but uh, this overall wasn't rusty at all. Let me uh, get everything set up and out of the way, and uh, we'll pull the bearings off. All right, I'm going to try to line up the pull it on here without getting my arm in the way too much. It's got little jaws that go on the, on the bearing, and it's got this uh, point in the middle, which is a little divot in the front of the um, shaft there, which grabs it. Let's make sure we get all three of these on. It's a little bit tricky to get it on, but once you get it on, it's pretty easy it's got five tons of hydraulic force it makes it really easy to come off the jaws on here are actually from the um pullers that i um broke trying to get the pull pulley puller off these aren't really uh rated for five tons but they're uh the jaws that come with this device are too big to um fit around the pulley so we have to improvise a little bit so i got this on hooked up and you can see, as you can see the other end here it's got a hydraulic piston on it and you go ahead and put this rod in here and uh, pump it and we'll just show the bearing coming off in this on, from this angle over here you'll hear a little crack and the bearing should just pop right off bearings off. Let me sit up for the back bearing and we'll take that one off. Okay, now let's get the back bearing off. We got it off. Okay. the noise to look at the bearings real quick if you look at bit i had to order some new bearings for it let's see if we can get lined up with the camera here you're probably not gonna be able to see it but on the bearing edge there is a number actually that says france there that's the manufacturer eh, it's hard to see but if you're ever looking at to replace a bearing pretty much every bearing has the uh Bearing type on the side, written written right on it, so you could replace it. So I'll order those bearings. Let's, let's take a look at so you can see if we have a tripod, see how you can see these spin. This is the one from the back. See, it spins pretty nicely. It's still bad. I mean, it's crap, but it definitely needs to be replaced. But it's not. It's still usable. This is the bearing on the front. This is the one that was making the noises. See, that's just the that's just do it for replacement. I would put a new motor in the machines is back in action. I figure since these motors cost around six or seven hundred dollars each, uh, 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 used just to replace it, you know, for twenty dollars for the bearings uh, and a little bit of work, it's worth it to put it back together. I'll uh, when I get the bearings, I'll uh, finish up this video.